All right, so um, I'd like to say hello to everybody. Uh, my name is Mbox Mike. And I'd like to uh, welcome everybody to the uh, second Mbox Wave webinar. I'd like to thank Ninja Trader for hosting it. Um, I did one last year with them. It went very well. Um, you can also watch that on my page last year's but this year I wanted to um, go over some uh, new material some new ways of looking and analyzing the markets um, we had an interesting year you know with the markets with the pandemic and the v-shaped recovery and I'm going to talk about all that I also want to talk about um, how I traded Intel options. You know, uh, I want to show that uh, Mbox Wave is not only for futures trading, which which I am mostly a futures trading, but you can also use it to trade stocks options. Uh, we've got quite a few people trading stocks with it as well. And um, I'm going to show on this page how I traded Intel options over the last year. Um, also, I'm going to talk about uh, Bitcoin you know it skyrocketed this year as well and the latest thing was Elon Musk Tesla bought uh, 1.5 billion dollars worth of Bitcoin and so it was a Bitcoin pump and I want to talk about that and show how the um, uh, analysis uh, looks like uh, from the mbox wave uh, perspective all right, so without further ado, um, I'll get right into it. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to mention is that over the past year, also there was a big addition, which is the Mbox Trading Room. So I'm going to talk about that at, towards the end of the presentation. All right, so I'm going to go to the first slide, which is the uh, V-shaped recovery. All right, so did Mbox Wave forecast the economic V-shaped recovery in the markets? Uh, yes. So if we look at the analysis, um, it can show us clues and hints of what was going on in the markets that could give us um, sort of uh, a heads up as to what's going on. And that's what we always need to know. We need to have a heads up to be able to trade the markets. So here back in March of last year, we had this dip going from here to here. And then we had a, you know, V-shaped recovery and we've been recovering since, you know, market is making all time new highs. All right. And in terms of the analysis, we had a nice pullback signal here and a stooges with a buy imbalance. All right. So I'm going to jump into the analysis to bring uh, life to this chart of how it looks like uh, reading the Mbox Wave indicators. All right, so we scroll down here. And um, to give it context, first I wanna talk about, you know, what these numbers mean on the chart. This is for people that, you know, are not familiar with uh, Mbox Wave. Uh, the big number, is total volume the small number is the delta volume which means that's the um, you know ask volume minus the bid volume so it shows us buying and selling pressure um, I think uh, I wanted to mention we're looking at the S&P 500 so that's the ES right here and we're looking at a weekly time frame so each candle here is one week all right so we had the V-shaped recovery since March. So, you know, what happened? So at the time we saw this uh, pullback signal, we see that, you know, we, we're entering this change of behavior situation here because, you know, we've been coming down. We get hit hard here and here with Mbox Delta showing supply. And then, bam, we get a big box showing demand right here, Mbox Demand. We come back up, right, uh, with this wave, and then we have a pullback here with a pullback signal. We see no supply, right, in this area. 
uh, the cumulative delta, this shows the overall bias of buying and selling. Um, I talked about this in the first webinar. So if you want to know more about it, you can also watch that. But, you know, in short, it shows uh, overall bias, you know, who is winning, you know, the bulls or the bears, right? So which, what's interesting here is that before this down move, we had some selling here. So we had some demand, but on this dip, on this dip, there's no supply here, which is really weird, right? Because we had this selling before it even went down. And then when it went down, it's like there's no supply. We're not attracting uh, the sellers, the bears, right? We had this huge down movement, but we're not attracting selling. What's going on? So that's kind of weird, right? And immediately we get demand of the inbox delta, followed by no supply here. We can see it. All right. And the pace, this shows the speed, the speed of the, the bids and the offers, right? So, you know, we had this huge speed as we came down. And here's a divergence because we had all this speed of selling, but no supply in the cumulative delta. That's a divergence, right? Makes your head scratch. So we got this divergence. Then we got demand in the inbox delta. And so that's a change in behavior, right? And from there, we see the offers take control, right? The, the green, these teal bars are larger than the red bars after this dip, All right? So then price begins going up. We get this uh, Stooges buy signal and the buy imbalance. So the buy imbalance, 447 means we had more buying than selling, even though price went down. So that's also a divergence. So it means that you know, there's a lot of buying going going on, even though price went down, right? So it's another point for the bullish side, all right? It means that, um, you know, there's there's just no selling going on. It's all all buying, right? So price is just correcting, and there's just buying going on while it's correcting. We can see no supply here. Kindle buying is expanding, and bam, we we go off from there, you know. So you know, I like to tell people to look at the overall analysis, you know, to give context to these signals. These signals, I, uh, you know, state repeatedly are used as entry signals, and they worked out perfectly in this chart. All right. So that's our V-shaped recovery here. All right. So I'm going to go on. I want to give a little uh, intro uh, welcome to Mbox Wave. Kind of talk what it's about, who I am. You know, what is Mbox Wave? What is the purpose? All right. So, you know, one of the biggest things about trading is, you know, emotions. And, you know, the motto people really need to think about and keep in their mind is trade what you see, not what you think. Right. So not what you feel, not what you think, but what you see. And if you see the analysis giving you, um, you know, a strong setup, that's what you want to take. Then you don't hesitate. You don't need the emotions. So the purpose here, and I, I wrote this as a quote, is trade without fear or greed. Trade only what you see without the emotions. And Box Wave allows you to do rational decision making, right? Rely on the analysis. Stop overthinking. Let the market tell you what it wants to do next. Then and only then take a trade. So meaning stop overthinking. Stop, you know, feeling those unnecessary emotions. Look at the analysis. If it's showing you a strong setup, take it. If it's not showing a strong setup, you ignore it. All right. So. I wanted to say that the discount, I will be providing discount code at the end of this presentation uh, on the software and trading room. All right, so quickly, because we have still a lot of material to go over quickly, who I am, who am I? So I'm an ex Silicon Valley senior software engineer. I used to work in Silicon Valley for companies like Oracle and Sun. And uh, I transitioned to full-time trading uh, over time. I am the sole creator, developer, and active trader of the Mbox Wave Wyckoff Trading System. 
because there's a lot of you know vendors out there that sell you stuff that they don't even use right I use my own system this is how I make a living um, you know I, I, I put my own skin in the game I've shown this in my live trade videos um, you know so you know we're in this together it's not just you guys you know buying something from me I I created this I use it and I'm sharing it with others so that they can profit from it and you know there's a lot of positive feedback you can read on my website um, scroll through my YouTube videos you'll see tons of comments anyway so we'll go on trading community knows me as mbox Mike that's just my nickname so what is mbox wave mbox wave is a complete order flow trading system that tracks buying and selling that's exactly what it does we're following the buying and selling mbox wave exposes optimal entry points via algorithmic buy and sell signals so those sell signal buy, buy signals I was showing in the previous slide those are entry points right so when the analysis is strong that's where you, you want to get in and mbox wave is an entire community of traders I'm going to talk about this when we get to the mbox wave trading room here because mbox wave is not just a system of indicators it's an entire community and this community has grown uh, substantially over the last couple years so what is the goal? The goal is to provide the best possible trading technical analysis software that exposes market flow of supply and demand. And the goal is to bring the entire community of Mbox Wave traders together inside of the room. So, you know, it's not just trading by yourself. You're trading as a community. You can talk to other people, you know, uh, share ideas, you know, get motivated, talk about analysis, etc. All right, so let's uh, move on, and I'm going to go over some uh, examples here and talk about some of these other things that were on the agenda. So let's go to the demand exhaustion slide. So the demand exhaustion is when the market is overbought and the demand and buying is thinning out. So I wanted to show an example of this. What does it mean? Well, we're on the ES S&P 500 one minute chart. And this is an example of a strong setup for a short position, right? So this is after um, around the markets. This shows when the markets are opening. We had this down move. So what is the context to this all? All right, so the entrance we initiate the short here at the break of this line this lines that are being drawn here come from the m auto floor ceiling indicator part of the uh, mbox wave system it draws automatic support resistance lines which can be useful for you know figuring out where there are breakouts or breakdowns you know and support and resistance all right so what do we have here the right right before the markets open or around when they open here we have initial demand on market open, right? We see that here. Plus 506 here shows wave demand, right? As we're moving here, we make a higher high. Um, in the inbox delta here, we have less demand than here, but we have a higher high. That's a divergence. And also in the wave delta, we have here plus 315 shows less demand on higher high compared to the 506 here, right? So price is moving up but there's less buying. So that's got to make you scratch your head, right? Um, this isn't the optimal place to enter short quite yet, but it gives us a heads up that, you know, the, the behavior is changing. We have a change in market behavior, right? And we have an up thrust sell signal here. So there was a seg signal here. You could have shorted here, but I would wait a little bit longer to have more points of confirmation, right? It depends on your risk tolerance how much you want to risk so we come down here the minus 239 shows wave supply right this 239 is much bigger than the previous numbers right we have a collapse in the cumulative buying right here so we had a lot of this buying and then we have a collapse here right as we attempt at one last swing up before the collapse, we have no demand, so substantially less demand of the Mbox Delta and a lower high, 
right? So this is consistent with the analysis and the change of behavior. You know, first we had a higher high, less demand. Now we have no demand and a lower high. So it's all coming together. At this time, we have a double algorithm. We have a pullback sell signal and a Stooges sell signal telling us that we have a uh, possible entry here and the analysis to back it up, right? So what happens as price breaks down here? That's where we would want to initiate the short. Okay, price breaks down, we'd initiate the short. We had the double algo, we had the change in behavior, demand is exhausted, um, and we have supply starting to come in. Supply comes in here, supply is coming in. We have a crossover in the cumulative selling, and we see the speed of the bids begin to heavily outpace the offers, right? So even if you didn't get in at this breakdown, you still have opportunities to, to, to get in here, you know, and um, get in on this high probability trade. Then as we're coming down, we hit this low here and what do we see? We have a lower low and the supply, where's the supply? We had all this selling and now bam, Huge contraction in the supply. Supply is exhausted. That's where we want to sell. All right. And I talk about uh, different exit strategies. One of them is, you know, when we see a change in the technical analysis, that's where you want to exit. So if you got in this position, we come down here, you see supply dried up here. You want to sell, exit the position. All right. Let's move on to the next slide. All right, the triple algo. What is the triple algo? The triple algo is a powerful signal. When it happens before the market open, it often forecasts the direction price will go. I've seen this happen many times. Other people have observed this as well. Again, I like to combine my analysis with the uh, what the indicators are showing me. I don't trade on the signals alone. The signals I use as entry points. I want to clarify that. But the triple algo tells us there's a lot of things going on here, all right, before the market open. Triple algo means we have a pullback sell, we have a Stooges sell, and we have a sell in balance, minus 73. So there's more selling than buying on this up wave. And the way before, we have minus 39. So... If you look at this, you have minus 29, minus 39, minus 104, minus 70. This whole area here is nothing but selling, right? Which is the precursor to our down move here, right? So except for this 87, if you block that out and you look before we had a collapse, how many waves of selling we had? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven out of eight waves we had are just pure selling. So that's got to give you a clue that we've got to have some kind of move here. There's all the selling going on. So the triple algo uh, in this chart did forecast the sell-off before the market open. And I've traded the triple algo. You can see it in my live trade videos uh, if you want to see live trading and how I traded it. I'll get to that later, though. All right, so before the market opens, we also have supply come in here in the wave minus 145, all right? We have the distribution before the sell-off in the MQ of delta, right? And what do we get? Right here, okay, market's open. We have a double algo. We have an up thrust and a minus 161 sell imbalance. Again, there's more selling than buying on this up wave. So all this selling. We see that the uh, no demand here. Yeah, there's no demand here. It's just the poop, little bump. The uh, inbox supply is expanding, right? We have an inbox sell imbalance here. So we can see the imbalance is not only in the waves, like here, the minus 161 on an up wave. We see it here, right? If the box is below zero, it means it's more selling. If the box is above zero, it's more buying, and the color indicates direction. So this is a blue box because price went slightly up here. It went up, but there was more selling, so the box is below zero. It's an M-box sell imbalance, right? 
If you have more questions about this, you can email me. I talk about this all the time in the videos. So if it's not clear, you can watch some more videos or email me. So we have the inbox supply expanding. Cumulus selling is expanding. Huge pace of bids. We had this excellent double algo. I would, uh, uh, here's the possibility to short on the breakdown and add on, on yet another breakdown. All right. And write it down. Boom. When do we see a change in behavior? We see a change in behavior with the speed of the offers coming in. We have a sign of offers coming in here. Bam. All right. So we know that there's a change in behavior. And if we want to lock in our profits, that's the place to exit. Right. So I'm always looking, you know, what's the optimal place to exit? You know, so here we have a change in behavior here. That's where uh, the exit is. We have sign of offers. And I've shown this in the, my videos as well. All right. Um, let's move on uh, to some new topics I haven't really talked about before is how I traded Intel options over the course of the past year. All right, because, you know, there was a huge sell off and, you know, to me, it just seemed um, sort of uh, fabricated in the sense that it was just too much of a hit to the markets that, you know, they had to recover. And so I thought maybe I should try trading some options. And, um, you know, I know Intel is a strong company. It's a blue chips company. I mean, it's had its ups and downs over this year due to AMD and NVIDIA competition. But this is kind of before that. So, you know, the markets went down. We had a sell-off. It seemed that markets were oversold. Uh, and so I decided to buy Intel uh, call options, you know, and, uh, you know, profit off of that. And that worked out very well. Um, so here, okay, so here's my header. After the COVID-19 sell-off, there's a huge buy imbalance, the 34.25, that's right here, that launched Intel stock into a rally. All right, so let's look at this chart. What do we have going on here? All right, before this, you know, sell-off here, we hit this high here. We had a bunch of buy signals before price shoots up, you know. We could have bought here and made some small profit, but you know, I wasn't trading here, right? So we had the COVID sell off. We had the sell imbalance as price was going down. Okay. And what did we have here? What was very interesting, right? So this area here looks oversold due to very weak supply, right? So we got, look at this inbox Delta. We have supply hitting here, here, here. Look, it's nowhere as strong as the demand here, right? So price is falling like too much on too little selling, right? Just compare like these red boxes here to this, you know, and this, you know, here we had a lot more buying and here we don't have that much selling and price is collapsing. It's like, holy smokes, what is going on? It seems like it's, you know, it's a divergence, right? The, the, the price going down so much and we don't have that much selling. That's kind of weird. Right. So, you know, and what's going on here? Um, on this down move, we got a huge buy imbalance, means price is moving down, but there's more buying going on. Right. So that's a huge sign here. Right. That's a divergence. So price is moving down, but there's more buying. So the buying has to lift price back up. Right when we combine it with this analysis. In the inbox delta, uh, we see no supply. So we had some selling here and then just no supply. Just no supply here. In the cumulative delta, supply looks weak here for such a strong move down. Look, we had a, such a strong move down and look at the selling. Compared to the, all the buying here, look at the selling. It just doesn't look like much and price moved. So it looks like Price moved way too much down for this little amount of selling here and here, and we've got a nice buy imbalance here. All right. Uh, one of the first early signs that we have a change in behavior was, look at this pace of the offers. We have a strong pace of offers, which essentially stops the downtrend. 
And then we have the speed of the offers outpacing the bids after that. All right. So after I saw this, I saw we were oversold. There was no supply here. You know, markets were oversold. There's no supply. I saw the buying balance, saw the pace of the bids. I mean, the pace of the offers outpacing the bids. So I bought call options here. It seemed to me this was the, the end. This was the turning point. All right. I bought call options here. All right. And I figured that my initial take profit would be, you know, this area here. This uh, was a uh, resistance line. I thought this will be my initial take profit, right? Unless I see a change in technical analysis, right? So, you know, for exits, usually I'm looking at support resistance levels, change in technical analysis, or if you're, you know, day trading, hitting your goal for the day. All right, so price went up here. Okay, we had a huge amount of demand. Look at that. We spiked up here in the cumulative uh, buying. We have 16,584 here. We went up, but, but, and here's the big but. As we reach this point here, there's a sell imbalance. The cumulative uh, buying was starting to contract. And the I didn't like that the MBOX delta here was you know, weak, it didn't match the strength of this and it was starting to contract. So given this was contracting, the MBOX Delta was contracting, Q Delta was contracting, you know, speed of offers, we didn't see much here. And I saw the sell imbalance, I decided, okay, I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna call it quits. And that's fine, I, I did very well on these uh, options, uh, made a decent amount of money. And after that, we went horizontal for a while you know, and uh, so, you know, worked out very well. So this was the Intel and this is the daily chart. So I want to show people that you could trade options and I, I trade it myself. And I liked it so much that, you know, I decided that I'd be look out for more opportunities to sell options, right? So, you know, come October of last year, I decided to get into the Intel options again. <laughs> You know, to vary up my day trading because I'm mostly a day trader, right? So in October of last year, uh, which is here, right? Uh, there was bad news, right? Bad news about Intel's performance caused the stock to collapse. That's coming from here to here. However, Mbox Wave revealed it was panic selling. So this is great. I mean, you can trade options and you can see in the analysis if, you know, if it was panic selling, uh, you know, you can get in on it and, you know, make good trades here. You know, again, I'm looking at Intel and I'm looking at daily chart. Uh, so the analysis, I determined that the stock had become oversold. So it was perfect conditions for a high probability trade. A buy and balance plus demand showed where to get in. All right. So here's the deal. Uh, we had this huge gap down because we had some bad news, right? So bad news, Intel performed worse than expected. However, the PC sector had growth. So not everything was bad, right? The PC sector had growth. So we see the supply in the inbox delta. Afterwards, supply evaporates. No new lows. It's like, where's the supply? Where's all the selling? Where do, it's like we had such a huge move down, and now where's the selling? There's no selling. Uh, in the Q and Delta, I mean, the supply, it's like very weak. Let's compare it to the buying here. The supply is very weak. Where is it? I don't see it. So we had this pace of bids here outpacing the offers, but again, there's a divergence. Where's the supply? There's no supply. All right. Then we had, we came back up and we see that we have a sell and balance here, which means there's still a lot of selling going on. So this down move attracted selling here, but price didn't price didn't go down, wasn't able to make a lower low, and you know no su supply evaporates in the inbox delta, and weak supply in the cumulative delta. So as we come down here, now we see the buying start to come in with a plus seven plus one thousand seven hundred eighteen buying balance right here. And despite all the selling, no new low. We have a higher low, 
buy and balance, right? Cunal bind begins to expand, right? And I bought at the breakout of here because I saw demand come in here. Buying was expanding. I saw the buy and balance. I saw that supply evaporated. I saw the uh, selling was weak. I saw the divergence here of the pace of bids to the actual supply. And you see the Stooges sell and the sell imbalance. At this point, after we take out this price level, these become failed. So this was a failed sell imbalance and a failed Stooges signal. So that added strength to the call options, you know, position, you know. Uh, so I bought at the breakout here, right? So this failed, buying began to expand, and it seemed like the bad news at that point was panic selling because we couldn't drive, it couldn't drive prices further down. So, you know, for a regular company, if it's panic selling, panic selling, the analysis shows supply evaporated, you know, price should go back up. All right, so what happened? So the thing about options is you can hold them for a while. It's not day trading, right? So you don't need, you know, to time perfectly or to time your entries, exits, right? You can wait, you know, I bought like a three months expiration, all right? So we had a large demand here. Price went back down. <clears throat> That's all right. I still had time, right? I bought here like end of November. So when price crashed back down here, I saw that this was effort, no result, right? Because look at this. We have minus 17,241, right? And... It's actually not a huge down move. I mean, look at this minus 17,241 compared to minus 8,000. We had a much bigger price move down here on minus 8,000 and a much smaller price movement on much more um, wave supply. So this becomes an effort, no result. Do you see it wasted a lot more effort trying to sell here 17,000 versus 8,000 and produce much less and no new low. So after it began to go back up, to me it looked like effort, no result. I bought some more call options. All right. I set my profit at this. I set my profit at, at this, uh, um, you know, line, which was a resistance line. And when we gapped up, when we gapped up, I had a, uh, you know, a sell already programmed in there. So at the open, I sold at here, exited on the open of the gap day up. All right. And what happened after that? We had a large sell imbalance. All right. So it was time to go. It was time to go. All right. Um, we see a buy imbalance and a Stooges buy here, but it's not it's not a, a position to, to buy because we don't have support. Uh, here for demand and we it's conflicting because we had a large sell imbalance so that's not a signal I would consider so I took that as a sell okay here and that was the right place to go out all right so it did very well on um, Intel options uh, this last year all right I want to talk about the uh, Bitcoin <sighs> And uh, all right, so <clears throat> next is Bitcoin. On February 8th, Tesla bought $1.5 billion worth in Bitcoin. What does Mbox Wave have to say about the Elon Musk Bitcoin pump? All right, so right before, well, so when, so when, when Tesla bought the Bitcoin, okay, so we had this um, before we went from like 38,000 to, you know, almost 49,000. So we had initial inbox demand here, no supply in the cumulative delta. We had the Stooges and pullback buy signal, huge pace of offers, cumulative buying expanding, no supply in the inbox delta. 
We have a triple M box buy imbalances. Look at these red boxes above zero, which means price moved down, but we had more buying. We come down on this correction. We have a plus 223 buy imbalance and a Stooges signal. And the cumulative buying is expanding. All right. And then when we reached here, around 49,000, analysis is showing, you know, a lack of demand. We have a contraction in the cumulative delta. It's a valid place to exit. Now, if you're holding long term, you know, you could hold longer. Right now, it's over 50,000, like 56,000. But, you know, if you were day trading this or swing trading this, uh, you know, this was a valid setup to get in and you know a valid place to get exit and make profit right so I wanted to show that mbox wave uh, you know works great not only on futures but like I showed on stocks on options and cryptocurrencies on, on Bitcoin you know because the fundamentals of markets are supply and demand you know all markets move with uh, buying and selling as the key factors so regardless of the market and time frame supply and demand is always at work so the indicators always will show you the you know tug of war between the buying and selling so i wanted to show that to vary it up to show because i get people asking about cryptocurrencies i don't trade it personally there are people that have bought mbox wave that do trade cryptos um and i wanted to show you know what it would look like you know trading cryptocurrencies now I want to move on now from all those uh, that analysis that I was showing here and um, talk about you know training education you know how that works all right getting started <clears throat> you know a lot of information on mboxwave.com the site is like a book and is updated regularly. I read each page carefully. All the indicators, the signals, example strategies are explained. All right. So if we go here, I want to show it. All right. So you'll see on my website, <clears throat> you know, I have some clips here I put on the website. You can look through it. Um, you know, if you look at the indicators, here's all the indicators. You can read the, how they work, all the signals. You can read how they work, right? If you want to access my videos, uh, you know, the live trade videos, you can, you know, click on the live trade videos. I'll open it in a new tab. You know, I've got over 50 live trade videos of me trading in real time. Uh, my own account so you can watch those to see how the indicators work in real time you know like I said uh, I'm not just a vendor that's selling you software uh, to make a living off of it I, I, I don't make a living off of selling the software I've made far much more trading the markets um, and that's my primary source of income so this is what I'm doing and I show how to do this here all right, so a lot of information here, videos. Uh, you can watch previous uh, webinars here. <clears throat> you can watch last year's webinar I did with NinjaTrader. It's a webinar done by Matt Bowen. Uh, it's a great webinar. Uh, I did this webinar about trading pullbacks, you know, and, and so forth. So... All right, let's go back here. So training and education. There's over 100 plus hours of educational content on the training education page. All right, so let's click on the training and education. All right, I talk about who I am again, and I talk about the steps, right, what you want to do, you know, to get started. You know, you want to subscribe, you know, to my Facebook, Twitter, YouTube channel. Here are the links, right? And, uh, you know, you can go to the, for example, Twitter page, you know, and you'll see all my posts. Posts here, I do the live trades. I, you know, people message, sometimes I post what people tell me, like this guy, he wrote, you know, average win per trade, per trade already almost doubled. You know, these are people that have, you know, feedback 
uh, on the software, you know, and, uh, you know, if you uh, want to watch, you, you can take, you know, these videos and, you know, read commentary, you know, if you take a video and, you know, see what comments, you know, people, you know, can read, you know, from users. So you can just browse through the videos and read what people have to say, you know, if you're curious, those are real comments, you know, real reviews. All right. So where were we? All right. So also sign up for my newsletter. So that's on the main page here. You can enter your email. I'll send you out when I do something like a video or a webinar or, you know, information or something else. All right. So let's go back to the training and education page. So I recommend people to watch the first webinar because that's more of an introduction, you know, to the system. Uh, cover the basics, you know. Um, read about the basic law of supply and demand. We have Wyckoffian and logic and important contact concepts. Again, all indicators explained, all the algorithmic signals explained. We have example strategies here. I've showed the webinar page, so watch the webinars. Watch the live trade videos, you know. Watch the live trade videos. There's a lot of them. That's a huge resource, um, you know, to learn how to, you know, how to actually trade in real time. Uh, ongoing, I update Facebook, Twitter, YouTube on a regular basis. There's hundreds of examples. And here I wrote over 40 videos, but that's outdated. I have over 50, probably close to 60 now. Uh, talk about how to do homework, you know, how to mark up your charts. This is something I encourage everybody to do to practice, to be able to look at a chart, scan it, figure out if there's a good setup going on. All right, so let's get back to here. So I went over the ongoing learning, you know, watch the live trade videos, subscribe to the newsletter, you could subscribe to the Facebook or Twitter page. They're identical, so you only need to subscribe to one if you prefer Facebook or Twitter. And join the Unbox Wave Trading Room. So I want to talk about this, all right? Um, I want to reiterate what I said last year. I'm a big believer in repetition as the mother of all teaching. So the best way to learn is to practice, mark up the charts, um, and do that, right? So let's talk about the Mbox Wave Trading Room. Okay, so this is a new room since last year, and it is a community, all right? So it is to be a part of the Mbox Wave community. It's available to all Mbox Wave grandfather package users, and it brings the entire Mbox Wave community of traders together. Okay, the goal is to chat, discuss analysis, share screenshots, gain experience, from other Mbox Way traders. It is an additional resource to get support while you're in the process of learning how to trade. All right, uh, to get the most out of the room, be active, ask questions, interact with other traders. This room has a rich mix of both experience and new traders. So I wanna say the room, right? Cause I guess asked sometimes, you know, do I show signals, when to get in, when to get out? No, I don't. That's not the point of the room. I don't want to assume that financial liability. That's not my goal here. My goal is to share the system that I use personally and to teach you how to trade. That's the goal for you to be independent, right? The goal is not here to sell you signals, nor does that interest me. I don't want to assume the financial and legal liability to uh, of telling people where to en enter and exit, right? If you learn how to use the system, you will uh, understand and learn how to where to enter and exit yourself. And the goal of the Mbox Way Trading Room is to interact, right? To share your analysis. If you don't know what's going on, ask, you know. Uh, there's already a few hundred people in the room and it's growing every day. And, uh, you know, it's, you can leverage it as an additional re resource. And people show their trades, you know, like people show, oh, I traded, I got in, got out here. Some members make videos of their trades in, in uh, of their live trades you know so the room is a community resource right what you put in is what you'll get out of it but it's also for people to to know that you know you're not alone uh there's a whole community behind mbox wave it's not just 
you know, it's not just uh, you alone, right? And I always provide support. You can email me with any questions you have, all right? So to read more about the trading room, um, you can go to the purchase page and click on find out about the Mbox Wave trading room. So for the exact description and exactly what you can expect from the room is written on this page, you know? And, you know, I briefly went over it. So if you want to read exactly what you get, this is exactly what you get, all right? And what you can expect from it. It's an additional resource to help you with your trading, right? So be active, ask questions, and, you know, you have much to gain from it. Um, all right, so we're getting towards the end of the presentation. I wanted to talk about the discount code that I am providing for this uh, webinar. All right, so the discount applies uh, for the grandfather package with the trading room. It is good uh, for 24 hours. Uh, to get the discount, go to mboxwave.com slash offer. All right. So what is the offer? What is the original uh, price? So let's look, right? So what are we getting? So if you click on the purchase tab here on the site and look at the grandfather package, right? It includes the Mbox Wave trading room, which I just talked about, all the indicators, all the algorithmic buy sell signals, and grandfather status, which uh, means lifetime support updates and fixes. So uh, if you ever have issues, whether it's software trading, you can always email me, right? I programmed uh, the system entirely myself, so you're not dealing with a programmer who doesn't know uh, much about trading or the analysis. You know, I am the um, sole programmer and I trade my own product. So I'm very proud of that. So you can always email me with any questions you have. I know exactly how the software works and the ins and, ins and outs of it. All right, so what is the offer? So so the grandfather package with the trading room is $13.98. All right, so for the webinar deal, so going to mboxwave.com slash offer, um, I'm giving the um, uh, March 2021 webinar discount, good for 24 hours after the webinar. So again, it's the grandfather package with the Mbox Way Trade Room for $12.98. All right, so you can go to mboxwave.com slash offer and get this deal. All right. So with that, um, you know, I will be concluding the presentation. I'd like to uh, thank Ninja Trader once again for hosting this webinar. Uh, thanks everybody for joining and hope you um, learned something new. And if you have any questions, you can email me, mike at mboxwave.com right here. Or you can use the contact form, click contact on the website, or you can use the contact form to contact me. Anyway, that's it. So um, I wish everyone best, uh, best luck in trading. And if you have questions and like to learn more, feel free to contact me. All right. Bye-bye.